How was your Halloween? It was all right. It's all right. You know, we're retreading costumes. My yeah. little daughter, Kenna, got the, she got the ladybug. Passed down? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember when Kieran wore that. Yeah, she was a good ladybug. Yeah. Hey, I gave her a first piece of candy this year, Kenna. She's eight months old. She can eat? Candy. Does she have teeth? She's got four teeth. She looks like, she looks like a piranha. <laughs> and, and you know what? If you're not paying attention. She'll bite you? They bite hard. She a biter? Yes. It's bad. Do you, what'd you do? Do you go? Is, is Dude, 190 pounds of packaged awesomeness. That's what I went as. Uh, yourself? Yeah. Very good. You know? I went as myself, too. What'd you go as? Me. I did, but, like, in did, my did, uniform. Did, did, in did, my did, uniform. Did, 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 did anybody actually try to try to beat you up for coming to get candy? <laughs> no, I didn't go get candy. <laughs> I went to a, a party in Harper. Harper. Where, where's I, Harper? Down around Kerrville, Harper Valley PTA. But isn't Harper's Ferry? Wasn't that a big thing in the uh, Civil War? Maybe Harper's Ferry, like Virginia-ish area. Yeah. We're, on the Potomac River. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what though, we're big in that Harper Angelo State is huge. Why? Just everybody there, are huge Angelo State fan. They watch Ram Talk daily, every day. Well, why wouldn't you watch so, Ram Talk yeah. daily? Yeah, Nicole Vance, lots of other people, big. Big ups to Nicole Vance. Yeah. Vance played basketball here. He's the AD slash basketball coach at Harper. I thought you said Nicole Vance. That's two different people. Oh. Nicole played basketball here. Okay. So those are two athletic folk. I don't know last names. Sorry. Right on. I'm off. Did, uh, well, we kind of we kind of just started without actually giving our introductions. World Series. John Anderson here with the Congratulations, skip. Royals. Oh, yeah. We're going to give uh, – Give a little shout out to the Royals for winning the series and and doing it in uh, in cool fashion. It wasn't like long ball city this year. Yeah, we have lots of connections. You know, Andy Way works for the Royals. Yes. Mean Gene Watson, big time brass of the okay. Royals, lives in Georgetown, Texas, former teammate of mine. Uh, so that's cool. A lot of a lot of good things. Well, that's that's awesome. Well, what do you think of the series this year? Uh, I really I thought the Mets would win, so I was wrong. I generally am. I actually thought the Mets were going to win too. So, what do you think, Matheny, up at Southeastern? We do series? because we got comments on the last one. So I told Matheny, Mike Matheny, we're coming to see you in February. Uh, well, not if you're standing behind the infield, because then we couldn't see you. That's right. And actually, if you notice, we're doing the new field, and the coach's box for us is actually about ten feet in fair territory. That way, we can see your catcher signs and make sure our hitters know them. We're actually trying, Matheny, we're trying to put a, a dotted area behind the pitcher's arm while they're throwing. <laughs> what yeah. do you think? You think you think he's going to not like that? I don't know. Hopefully, I know. But Matheny loves us, and we love Matheny. Matheny he lo likes to win, and we like to win. His so nickname a... is Legend. Yeah, Isn't yeah. that a cool nickname? Just Legend. Legend. And you know why? Because he's a legend. He's a legend. The Jorge Alvarez is yeah. the other. He shares a nickname with Jorge Alvarez. Wow. What if they're boys? They probably are boys. So... Anyway, so Matheny made comments the last time that I thought were inappropriate, actually, on Facebook. Hashtag inappropriate or he, just inappropriate? He put, like, asterisks. Really? Yeah, asterisks are, like, bad stuff. What did he tell you? He said that we were not, we were full of stuff. Well, that's probably and that true. Is su such I a mean, falsehood. He's, he, he's, been, he's been scouting for a long time. He probably, he's, he's, he's probably scouted us pretty, pretty thoroughly. He's pretty accurate. So, all right, we better start. All right. Sorry. Game on. Game on. Go. John Anderson here with the skip. Kevin Brooks. Skip. Uh, right now, it's a really exciting time. You got uh, all, all the all the rock is crushed and the, and the turf is going in. How does that make you feel? Man, it's awesome. It looks so good already. And like they just started putting the turf down this morning. So, it's been about two or three hours, and it just amazes me how much they're able to do. It's crazy how many people ask you during a day what's going on with the field. But there's always a different answer depending on what time of the day they ask you. Yeah. Because, I mean, they, they really, they've done a great job. Obviously, uh, it's starting to shape up. Hopefully, by the end of the week, you'll be able to come out here and it'll uh, look like a baseball field. Because, uh, you know, we've got the mound, they got the bases down. Uh, I think they should finish the turf by the end of the week, and then the fence should start going up. Next week, and then the seats next week, and I think what they'll are, be done. What are the, what are the odds they're going to leave us one of these little steamrollers? 
That'd be I, sweet. I don't think they leave. They do leave us some stuff, but I don't think we get a steamroller. That would be fun, though, to drive around on. Uh, and, I like, if a work. player makes you mad, you say, hey, stick your foot out. Just steamroll his foot. Yeah. I think it's a good That'd way to go. That'd be a good punishment. Now, Lloyd Norris is here today. I don't know if you can get him on camera, but he's he's, he's the reason we're we're throwing down on this field anyway. So yes. it's it's a it's a big day here in Mudville. Yes. Uh, uh, Lloyd, I mean, Lloyd and Sherry obviously have been really great to us. Uh, but, you know, the, they – they care about, uh, you know, doing what they can for for young people and uh, definitely making a difference Huge in a lot difference. of guys' lives. So they're awesome. And he's a good friend too. So yeah. more importantly, and he's a, he's a big supporter of the community and has done a, a good job with a lot of things. But this this one, I think everybody everybody knows this is Lloyd's behind this one. They're all uh, I've I've seen a lot of people creeping around checking it out. Yeah. So it's, it's Billy awesome. Hart, if you're watching. Just come once a week, okay? It's gonna be over. It's overkill when you come three times a day, man. You're gonna get overloaded with information, dude. <laughs> so, Brooksy, do you want to just stop right here? I'm good. Okay, we're gonna stop, and I'm gonna give you four words. And I have been told, okay, that I can't give you words and give you time to think about them. Okay. So, let me think first. Okay. Like, are you gonna go uh, chair, donut, screwdriver, pole, like that, like that fast? Yeah, but I'm not gonna That's give you those fast. words. No, no, I'll, I'll go a little bit. Okay. Okay. We'll go with a gap. Trumpet. Stampede. Tip. Okay. Uh, I was playing my trumpet at the gap, and due to how good it was, there was a stampede of people, and I broke the tip off of my trumpet because it got hit by somebody stampeding. That was really a run Sorry, y'all, run on sentence. We're gonna drop you two letter grades, but that would have been but, good. You know, I'm gonna, I I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give you one letter grade back because you used gap in a way that I wasn't looking for it to be used. Yeah. You know, you know, when you hit somebody with misdirection, it always wins. Yeah, I just should have shut it down. Yeah. What's what's? I that? just kept going because I wanted to get Stampede in there twice. Yeah, that ain't gonna get you extra credit. Well, I, I don't it give would. extra credit. I know, but it should have. B, and it's not a bad day. Hey, Junk, what was the what was the hashtag we need to use today? Hashtag Ram Talk Daily. You heard it from the junk. Hashtag Ram Talk Daily. Here's some words we need to use. 